Welcome to part two of modifying a BAE Hawk. Now, as we look further into this, you can see how I widened out the fuselage a little bit. Had to cut some of the inside out to make room for the EDF motor. This resource also has mount lining pins or lining holes. And I made some pins to go into the lining holes so they can line the fuselage up. Now one thing I did, to, I made a landing gear platform. Like I said, I wasn't going to use the original landing gears. And I had plenty of stuff in my shop to be able to make a nice landing gear platform out of uh, one eight, I think that this is a quarter inch ply, not quarter, yeah, this is a one sixteenth inch ply. And I even had the servo mounted in there as well too. And it's nice, nicely set up. And we shaved a little bit out of the nose so, so we can be able to sit that in there. And it sits in real nice. Now we don't want to glue any of the halves together yet until we get everything lined up. Now going back to the motor, I made a thrust tube. It was real simple to make. All I did was just use uh, plastic from a Pepsi bottle. And it was real simple. You even got a notch there for your wires to sit out. Now the motor is not going to sit in the normal way where you can use the uh, mounting gears. It's going to be sitting in at an angle and I made a mounting bracket to go to glue on the inner half of the fuselage and we're, we're going to use our electrical ties to tie the motor down. That'll work real nice because we really don't have a lot of room to work in here. So it's going to be, it's going to work out. As you can see, I already cut hat hatches in the fuselage. That way we can get into the motor to do whatever we have to. Now, the duct, the uh, thrust tube is not going all the way to the tail because the tailpipe is more egg-shaped. So, we only, we're going to cut it off a little short. It won't hurt. It'll still direct the flow of air to where we want it to go. Now, I'm going to put these halves together temporarily right now, just so you can see how things look. First, we're going to set the EDF where we want it. It's hooked onto the thrust tube. We got the nose gear in place. We're going to hold that together with rubber bands. look too bad. Now we got some room to be able to work in case we have to replace the motor or do any kind of maintenance. And when we put the hatches together, we'll be able to cover it up. And we'll work on locking up the hatches later. And I can see that nose gear looks pretty good too. Might change this to a bigger wheel later on. But right now, it is functional as you can see right inside. Everything looks as easy to access, very easy to get to, and it's very simple. If you look right at the tail, you can see the, how the motor mounts. So, so far it's coming along nicely. So stay tuned for the next part when we work on the, work on the wings. I'm going to go ahead and finish uh, reinforcing the inner half of the fuselage with a little epoxy and fiberglass. And uh, that should do it. So stay tuned for part three.